Good evening, everyone. Uh, just before arrival of the chief guest, I'm being interested to try to keep you all engaged. Uh, so, powering EV transition, the battery ecosystem. When we talk of efficient adoption, what becomes essentially important is the ease with which the end customer or end consumer is able to pick up the technology, pick up the product. So an adoption becomes efficient only when end customer takes the lead to drive the demand. And when we talk of transition, I think the transition which is currently happening is for opening up the various avenues in mobility. It opens up the skill and knowledge across. It opens up the, uh, you know, on an alternate to ICE. And, and, and it drives, it's basically creation of an ecosystem which is maybe waiting for a formidable alternative in future. So, transition for efficient adaption. My name is Ajay Pandey, and I represent a company which is in the business of solutions. The solutions to quality, the solutions to engineering, and hence, I bring you the subject of a battery ecosystem for which we are attempting to bring in the solution to make sure that adaption becomes really efficient. Just to put before you, there are, these are the stakeholders. We have policy, we have support system, we have OEMs, the technology we have heard, and also the charging infrastructure. What I will be in focusing more on and what you will get through my discussions here is an information on battery, the complexities these battery has, the experts who are needed, who needs to be prepared, who needs to, be get, re who needs to get ready for making sure that this adaption becomes efficient and what we are doing to make sure that this adaption is efficient. Just a brief touch on what EV consists. It's a drive units. Simply put, it is drive units. It's a power source and it has its electronics. Let's remember one thing. The battery is a virtual heart and soul of an electric vehicle. And if I take you to the battery constructions, it's a, a very heavy unit in a car weighing about 100 kg pack. It's a pack which consists of cell modules and an entire pack. This has its own uh, construction. Very interestingly, the EV batteries have been made to communicate with the car uh, computers. It has its own computers. It has its own battery management system. It has series of communication with cells, communication with modules. It takes about almost each and every parameter, whether it is a thermal parameters or whether it is a cooling, what kind of cooling a battery is getting while it's being driven. It takes in parameters of the temperature. It takes in the parameters which are linked to the way a vehicle is being driven. So it has a series of information which flows in, and that's where the battery has become completely uh, controlled unit. It has its own computer. Therefore, the handling of the batteries requires, has a safety concern, 
and it involves high voltage, so it has to be handled by experts. Uh, the techni technical knowledge plays a very important part as it's about the battery charging and it's about the electrical systems. Troubleshooting is an important element because the driving is uh, troubleshoot the, the diagnosis while the battery has been facing problems or we are the problem on the ranges and not to forget that the anyone who is handling the battery has to have the license to handle and hence compliance and regulation plays a very important part therefore it is expected that the person who is handling batteries is expert and hence this we commissioned the survey across the world as an organization we commissioned survey across the world and in that survey we basically tried to find what really concerns end users this also takes a report from where the it also takes the reference of various reports which have been released by some uh, say from a boston consultancy groups or deloitte's and the data comes before you for a for about 26 to 30,000 people surveyed across, we found that 32%, and I am presenting you the data which is from India, 32% of the users have a concern on range. Range means in a one full charge, how much uh, electric vehicle can drive to, how many kilometers it can cover. The second very important concern which was raised by the consumers in India was about 42% feel that there are safety concerns when they intend to use the electric vehicle. And 43% were very much worried about the charging infrastructure or across. And these are the real data. So to summarize, the user concerns are coming into the range anxiety, are coming into the safety and the charging infrastructure. So for an efficient adaption, if we are able to address these three concerns or if we are able to support, if we are able to build the ecosystem which supports the end users for these three concerns, I think we will be moving in the right direction which ensures 30% by 2030. In the same survey, we have found that the battery manufacturers, the tier two suppliers of those battery manufacturers, OEMs, the electric vehicle dealership, and end users, all have a series of concerns while these cars, for while these electric vehicles are being used. The Tier 2 suppliers had a demand issue of the unstable demand coming from OEMs, unstable production qualities. When we looked into the battery manufacturers, uh, they, they faced a lot of quality issues by the Tier 2 suppliers. OEM is developing, but they are also facing the issues of the experience and the knowledge in the battery. EV dealership has a complete lack of experience and this is a very important part for adaption of this EV and hence also the end users because end users as shared with you has an issue of uh, safety and range. So going further, what we do? We provide solutions, we are into the solution board, we are aligning to bring in infrastructure that gives, uh, that, that is working for man, machine and methods. We are working to establish labs across India to make sure that the users, the OEMs, the tier ones, tier twos, 
and the dealerships are getting adequate support, knowledge, and uh, requisite, uh, requ requisite changes which are needed to ensure that the range issues which are raised by the customers and users are appropriately addressed and resolved. With this, I come to the possible solutions which we as an organization are now deploying all across country, wherein the labs and the facilities and the resources would be made available with uh, appropriate experience, background, knowledge to ensure that the battery functional tests are being carried out well and reliably. As I shared with you, the battery labs will also be there to ensure that the issues of, on the battery at the cell level, at the module levels, or at the battery management system will be appropriately addressed. Uh, manufacturing supports are being developed, uh, are being provided to uh, whosoever who needs it, more, more specifically into OEMs, and we are currently engaged with quite a few to provide this support. And going into the analyze and repair mode, we will have the system of uh, the pack modules and the pack diagnosis, module change and cell tear down. We will have the abilities, capabilities, infrastructure and support to tear down the cell, to tear down the battery, open it up, address the issue at the cell level. If needed, replace the cells and make sure that the module becomes fit and hence the battery becomes back to the life. And last but not the least is the improve wherein we would be into the warranty management, uh, overseas technical concierge, battery management systems, uh, diagnostics. We will have the facility to even get into the depth of battery management issues, and we would develop an abilities to resolve all uh, the issues which battery uh, computer system has. Uh, and this is not that we it's being uh, shared, it's being something which is practiced. All the infrastructures uh, are being put to the place to make sure that this support is provided. Further, with this, together, let's break down the barriers to a sustainable future and empower every consumer with the confidence to make the switch to EV with ease and peace of mind. Thank you very much for your attention. Right, sir. Thank you so very much for that. Uh, we have identified two locations in south and one lo location in the west. We are open to the locations uh, in east and any other part of country. But to start with, to begin with, it would be from south to west to north. This would happen by end of 2023. All these things would be established by end of 2023.